Minister Manohar Parikar has passed away after a prolonged illness in Panaji. Parikar was battling pancreatic cancer for more than a year. He was 63. Manohar Parikar had also served as the defense minister of the country in the Modi government. Parikar's mortal remains will be kept at the BJP office in Panaji from 9.30 a.m. this morning to 10.30 a.m. Later, they will be taken to the Kala Academy in the state capital where people can pay tributes to the late chief minister. At 4 p.m., Parikar's funeral procession will begin. He will be laid to rest at 5 p.m. this evening. The center has announced national mourning in the wake of Manohar Parikar's demise. <laughs> केंद्र में जब मंत्री से तो प्राय हम लोगों का मिलना होता था अकेले भी साथ बैठना होता था लेकिन बार बार वो कहते थे पता नहीं क्यों हमारा गोवा और गोवा वासियों के साथ एक अद्भुत लगाव है मैं यहाँ पर अच्छी जिम्मेदारी निभा रहा हूँ बखूबी मैं काम कर रहा हूँ सब कुछ है लेकिन पता नहीं क्यों मेरा मन बराबर गोवा में ही लगा रहता ये बराबर वो चर्चा करते थे एक फर्म कन्विक्शन के एक ऐसे नेता थे दृढ़ इच्छा शक्ति वाले नेता के रूप में उनकी एक मान्यता थी और देखा होगा कि जीवन के अंतिम क्षणों तक बराबर अपने को उन्होंने सक्रिय बनाए रखने की कोशिश की मनोहर परिकर जी के जाने से भारतीय जनता पार्टी का बहुत बड़ा नुकसान हुआ है एक निस्पृह निस्वार्थी डाउन टू अर्थ बहुत ही सादगी पूर्ण आचरण व्यवहार करने वाला एक भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कर्मठ कार्यकर्ता समर्पित कार्यकर्ता हमारे बीच में से चला गया है श्री मनोहर परिकर जी हम सबके बीच में नहीं रहे सार्वजनिक जीवन में अनेक बड़े बड़े पदों पर रहने के बावजूद भी निष्कलंक जीवन रहा उसके ध्यान से पॉलिटिक्स में खैर एक गैप वहाँ पर आया है लेकिन हम इतना ही कहेंगे कि एक अच्छा पॉलिटिशियन को हमने खोया है इसलिए मैं गहरा दुख व्यक्त करता हूँ और अतपूर्वक श्रद्धांजलि उनको मेरे ओर से मेरे पार्टी के ओर से अर्पित करता हूँ and uh, really a good administrator also he was an asset to the bjp but now that uh, they had tried their level best right my colleague kamlesh sutar now joins me live from outside the bjp office in panaji goa kamlesh this must be an extremely sad day in goa manohar parikar probably was goa's favorite son a hugely popular chief minister goa is in mourning today give us a sense of the program for manohar parikar's final journey today uh yes polomi you rightly mentioned that he was perhaps goa's favorite uh, son and uh, for last uh, 20 years ever since his political career as uh, the chief minister began and uh, uh, he was the one who dominated Goa's uh, political scenes uh, uh, we, uh, despite in, uh, apart from being the chief minister from 2002 to 2005 uh, even his career as the leader of opposition was so illustrious that no other leader uh, even the chief minister uh, there uh, wasn't in the news or wasn't in public glare as uh, uh, Manohar Parikar uh, was and even after that uh, the chief, uh, being the chief minister from 2012 to 2014 and then the defense minister and now again uh, the chief Minister of Goa, he certainly has uh, left his mark. Uh, but let me also tell you uh, what is going to be the uh, schedule uh, today. Like uh, his uh, mortal remains would be brought uh, from his uh, house uh, in uh, Dabalim to the BJP uh, headquarters uh, here in uh, Panajim, and it would be uh, kept here for party leaders uh, and party workers uh, to pay their last uh, respects. Uh, and then uh, from here at 10:30, it would be taken to the Goa Kala Academy ground, and it would be kept there. Uh, for public at large to pay their last respects uh, from four o'clock uh, it will start uh, the the mortal remains would start its last journey uh, from goa kala academy towards miramar where the last rites uh, would be confirmed and uh, if i can also tell you to look at the 
deployment of police that police that is being made uh, the administration has made all necessary arrangements uh, since we are expecting uh, a lot of vvips to come down to pay their last respects uh, roads uh, for now leading to the bjp office have uh, been cordon off and the entire uh, area that also leads to the goa kala academy has uh, been uh, cordoned off as uh, well uh, the stretch uh, from goa kala academy to miramar from where uh, vvip movement would be there would also be closed uh, for traffic after uh, 10 and there are several vehicular uh, uh, traffic divergences that are uh, in place but for now uh, goa would be uh, bidding farewell to its favorite uh, son a politician who made his mark felt not only in goa but also in the national politics Absolutely. Kamlesh, just stay on with us. I'll come back to you. Now, top ministers and politicians from across the spectrum spoke to India today and mourned the loss of Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar. Listen in to some of those reactions. It was a huge crowd, crowd of IT professionals to make Goa a hub of IT. I said Manohar Parikar is important for Goa. Manohar Parikar is equally important for India. Now you don't have a politician like Mr. Manohar Parikar, a good IITN, a good engineer, a good professional, a man wedded to ideology from the RSS to the BJP and never wavered, a man modern his outlook, a man reform oriented and above all a man of impeccable integrity. I can only tell you one particular incident which rose him very high in my esteem. In Atul Bihari Bajpai government, I was the information broadcasting minister. And we have film festivals in uh, Cannes or in Venice in Italy. And we had a typical bureaucratic film festival in Delhi. I said film festival need to be at exotic places. And when he talked and we selected Goa, I requested him, will you give me infrastructure quickly so that I can ship it next year? He said, give me six months time. And lo and behold, it was ready in four months. That was him. He was a very good friend of mine. Coffee so do you think that simplicity is what many people and even politicians and the ones who have known him would want to remember? That's an image that has struck with almost everybody who's seen Manohar Parikar. Yes, yes, I'm telling you. Uh, even as a, he was, came to Delhi for the first time, and that too handing a crucial portfolio like defense, and that too at the most critical moment in the wake of first surgical strike. He handled it with aplomb, you know that. I, I, uh, I can today, let me remember him also in one uh, aspect of his personality. I'm like, what you are doing when the surgical strike was going, the first one? I was awake for the whole night. At 6 o'clock in the morning, I went to sleep. And he laughed and I also laughed. You understand the simplicity of this man? A 63 is not the age to go. He was too young for India's politics, too young, you know, the first thing. And the second thing, today is not the time to talk about his successor and what will happen. Today is the day to remember this great son of India and this great son of Goa in a very positive way, the legacy he has left. Going back across to my colleague Kamlesh Sutar, who's joining me live from Panaji in Goa. Kamlesh, you must have been speaking to a lot of people in Goa over last evening and this morning as well, where you're standing right now. How do they remember the late Chief Minister? Well, of course, as I, uh, Paulumi, as I said earlier, he will be remembered as a politician who has left his mark, uh, his uh, footprints uh, in Goa, perhaps every place uh, that uh, he has been at Goa. Uh, people will have to, uh, people will have several memories of Manohar Parikotishri. In fact, the way a place where I'm standing now, where his mortal remains would be brought uh, in some time from now. This is the BJP office, uh, uh, the place where his mortal remains would be kept. Uh, there's a small temple behind uh, it, and uh, Manohar Parikar every morning when he used to come. Uh, this office and uh, let me tell you uh, Paul I've been here at the BJP office several times in the past and uh, Manohar Parikar would always be the first man to reach the BJP office be it any situation uh, be it his routine work or uh, a long day uh, a day like elections in fact recently after the conclusion of elections after a long night discussions Manohar Parikar yet again was the uh, was the first person to reach uh, this office early in the morning so that was uh, his uh, that was uh, Manohar Parikar uh, very disciplined uh, and uh, to the point always very popular among people of Goa and uh, 
the kind of picture uh, that is being put here and not just here across the seats of Goa uh, 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 display uh, his persona and that is that is how people will remember him as a, a smiley gentleman who would come across uh, as a warm personality meet everyone concerned about uh, Goa uh, some sometimes you know someone could see Manohar Parrika just walking uh, on these uh, footpaths without any political airs uh, standing at a roadside uh, tea stall having a uh, sipping a cup of uh, tea uh, with the people or uh, uh, having breakfast at a nearby uh, cafe uh, very simple sometimes one would see uh, riding a scooter waiting at the signal just next to them in spite of being the chief minister people saw Manohar Parrikar coming to uh, reporting to the chief minister's office on a scooter uh, uh, several times uh, in his uh, uh, first term so uh, this is how uh, uh, he uh, the, the simplicity uh, that was around uh, Manohar Parrikar but apart from that very concerned uh, new uh, the topics of Goa new uh, how Goa the ins and outs of Goa uh, be it uh, uh, the smaller parts uh, or uh, uh, the new uh, as uh, the new aspirations of the new Goa uh, the town planning act whatever Parikar has been uh, right. uh, 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 concerned about uh, uh, the progress of Goa and that is what as I mentioned earlier for last two decades he has made his mark felt in Goa's politics absolutely he's left his mark on Goa across various walks of life. Late Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar's death leaves behind a void in the state of Goa. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari held a six-hour long meeting with BJP MLAs and allies Goa Forward Party and the Maharashtra Wadi Gomantak Party. Union Minister Shripad Nayak, Goa BJP President Vinay Tendulkar were present in the meeting. Sources told India Today that the Goa Forward Party has expressed reservations about the new leader. In fact, it was also approached by the Congress. The six-hour-long meeting witnessed discussions with Alliance partners. Goa Speaker Pramod Savant and Senior BJP Leader Vishwajit Rane were possible contenders discussed. The state stares at political uncertainty since the two BJP allies and independents had made their support to BJP conditional on Parikar being the chief minister of the state. The BJP with 13 MLAs had formed government after support from, 13 legis from three legislators, each of the Maharashtra Wadi Gomantak Party and the Goa Forward Party apart from three independents in the house with a strength of 37 earlier. प्रॉब्लम दैट यू आर अनेबल टू इलेक्ट अ लीडर नाउ इज दैट अ प्रॉब्लम और देर इज नो यूनानिमिटी ऑन हु शुड बी द लीडर ऑफ द कॉलेशन सी दिस थिंग्स प्रैक्टिकली आर बाउंड टू हैपन इट इज नॉट दैट इट इज समथिंग अनयूजल but uh, i think uh, in a few hours uh, whatever problem is there it will be sorted out right. after discussion with the mlas they will decide after one year no but then what about uh, your party whom will you support uh, no. as the chief minister? now i'm going to my party executive committee right. i will ask them to have a resolution right. then only to I support can... a particular candidate is right. that no no then... not not at decided we have discussed the contours of this alliance government for the future after the untimely demise of our leader, the Chief Minister of Goa, Mr. Manohar Parikar. So, it's not easy to find a replacement for Mr. Parikar and how this government has to go forward. We have given several suggestions, some of which have, be, have been accepted, some of which have not been decided upon. It seems that the BJP is finding it difficult to keep its allies together, but at the same time, it's building pressure on the allies so that the assembly should not go into suspended animation. The BJP is yet to finalize who should be the leader and replace Manohar Parrikar as the Chief Minister of Goa. With Kiran Sakpal, Sahil Joshi in Goa for India Today. Right, my colleague Kamlesh Sudar now joins me live from outside the BJP office in Panaji. Kamlesh, what's happening behind the curtains? Give us a sense of that. Who could possibly emerge as a consensus candidate who the GFP, the MGP and the independents could extend their support to? Well, polemic consensus is the word that would uh, hold the key uh, on deciding who the next chief minister of Goa is going to be. 
in spite of a six hour long meeting no conclusion uh, could be arrived because everybody seems to be pulling it in different directions now sudin davlikar uh, sudin davlikar one of being one of the senior ministers in the coalition uh, and uh, from the mgp uh, he uh, uh, what we learn that he is insisting that uh, he will uh, uh, he wants uh, to be the chief, chief minister and the coalition should uh, support him and that is uh, where uh, what we learn that th things got uh, stuck on the bjp uh, within itself remember two days before when there was a meeting of party legislator it was decided that uh, the chief minister should be elected from one amongst them uh, so uh, that uh, remains a key uh, issue so two names that were discussed one was that of uh, uh, Vishwajit Rane uh, and uh, the other name was of a uh, present speaker of Go uh, Goa Pramod Savant but uh, reservations were expressed about these two names as well Vishwajit uh, uh, party MLA said that he just uh, switched over uh, from the Congress and uh, to the BJP so they are uh, uh, opposing to his name Vishwajit Rane former chief minister Pratap Singh Rane still remains uh, with the Congress as one of uh, the senior leaders so apprehensions were expressed about uh, his name as well but uh, he, uh, in fact, was uh, the front runner in the race, uh, and also Pramod Savant's name was discussed. But uh, uh, some BJP MLAs uh, uh, opposed the name, saying that Pramod Savant is uh, way too junior to them. So that uh, these uh, were the names that were discussed. But in spite of uh, all the deliberations and uh, meetings by Nitin Gadkari, no conclu uh, no conclusion could be arrived. We are expecting that to happen uh, in some time from now. The Goa Forward Party, on the other hand, has its own reservations. It says that the names should be given to them. Remember, follow me. This should be uh, pointed pointed at this point. Uh, even the government was formed in 2017. Both the MGP and uh, Goa Forward Party had given support, extended the support to the government, saying that they will support this government only if Manohar Parrikar becomes the chief minister and that their support is to Manohar Parrikar. So, three MLAs from Goa Forward Party and three uh, from uh, the uh, Maharashtra Vadi Gomantak Party, their uh, support was pledged to Manohar Parrikar. And now with Manohar Parrikar not in the scene, Vijay uh, Sardes I told me a day before uh, yesterday uh, that everything has to be rethought of, everything would be freshly discussed. So now Vijay Sardesai after the meeting uh, late last night says that every proposal, uh, new proposal should be brought before them and that has to be discussed. The name uh, they will have to approve. Uh, only uh, if it is approved by them, they will uh, support by the government. Vijay Sardesai has also uh, insisted that he also uh, has been approached by the Congress and nothing has been decided as yet. So the situation would be volatile. BJP will have to come uh, to uh, a name that will be acceptable to all acceptable to the allies as well and coming uh, let me tell you uh, follow me coming to that conclusion is certainly not going to be an easy task right kamlesh thank you so much for those details we'll of course keep coming back to you through the day that's all we have for you in this bulletin stay tuned to uh, india today for all the news and updates on the other side of this short break thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.